Welcome to part 14 of Ocarina of Time, provided by Ricky C of World of ECW Plays. This is Ron Moore, along with Victoria, Lady Zelda, and uh, Mexivorm. Mexicool! Mexilukewarm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mexico, the guy who rides a lawnmower. No, wait, that's Ron Moore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mexico beans. Yeah. Ron Moore merchandise coming soon. And, okay, so, um, oh, man, here we go, the water temple. I'm glad not playing this. You know, I'll just go out and say this right now. I hate water levels, so I'm oh. glad I'm not playing this. I like I... Uh, Jolly Skip Rogers Bay from Super Mario 64, but other than that, eh, not really. Yeah, me and water levels, we don't get along, so I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Am I the only one who hates getting hit by those freaking tectites? Right, yeah. Those things are creepy as hell. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> tectites, yeah. Tic Tacs, whatever they're called. Tic Tacs. <laughs> they're ready to kick you Tic -tac -toe, off. Tic Tac Toe, three in a row. That's Link yeah. here. Jeez, like you see this video is freaking long because it can take a while to get through the water temple. And it's notorious for being very hard. Some people say, oh, it's not that hard at all. And maybe it's not hard to some people, but... Um, Those it, are the people who play the game, like, religiously. And they're like, oh, it's not that hard. Yeah, if I played the game every day like you guys did, it wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, and I thought beating Contra without dying wasn't that hard. Boy, I found out the hard way that uh, it's harder than it seems. And this temple I gotta is give a shout out to Ron Moore for doing that. That was awesome. I, I, I think I missed it, but I watched the replay of it. Yeah, and I finally did it. That was ECW, and man, it was an intense moment. I At was... least you got proof that you did it. People yeah. nowadays want to see proof. Well, I beat the game. Well, where's your proof? Well, I was just saying I beat... No, you don't have proof. You didn't beat it. Uh, yeah. Right. They're, they're all like pigs, or it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, videos. Well, yeah, well... People have uh, found ways to splice up videos on these speedrunning si world record sites, like Twin Galaxies. <coughs> Billy and then you find out, and you find out years later that the, not just him though, a lot of people have cheated in these golden rod, golden rod, golden eye <coughs> speedruns. Jeff. Runs. <coughs> Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> um, <coughs> we guy. No, I'm joking. Uh, <coughs> Mexico. We, no, no Mexico is not smart enough to do that. Say what about we guy. He's a legit gamer though. He's pretty good. Yeah, that he is. Um, but, yeah, uh, I was going to say the Water Temple is notorious for being one of the most challenging, uh, t temples in Zelda history, and... Oh, wow. Just uh, in general, in history? Damn. Yeah, because a lot of people, I see a lot of memes about it, about how hard it is, and the funny memes about it. I would have to agree, uh, I mean, well, I haven't played every single Zelda game, but I remember playing the Water Temple and Twilight Princess. That one was fairly challenging, but this one to me is harder. I think it's all the all the um, all the areas where you gotta raise the water levels, then sink the water again, then raise the water levels again, find the right key to get through the right area of the game. It's, it can be very hard. Know this, people. If you can beat this level, you can beat any Zelda. Game. No, I'm joking. That's probably not true. But if you can beat this, you can probably beat something else in Zelda. It's not as extreme though as Yeah, this the, looks legitly hard. It's not as extreme though as the the ECW temple. Oh wow. I did do an LP of this game uh, on the Raw More channel and back in twenty thirteen I think it was, We Guy was in that part with me where I played through the water temple and uh yeah, it was driving me crazy. Oh man, Link can't. Oh, come on, in real life, Link could just uh, climb back up there in the platform, but this game says no. Well, you yeah. You cannot. You cannot. I shall not let you. Yeah. Makes absolute zero sense. That's but it's a video target. game. What do I know? Yeah. There's a target audience. Oh no, there's no ladder in the pool. I can't get out. I'm gonna die. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, he has to take the iron boots off first before he can get over there on time. Ah! <laughs> Too late. Well, that didn't work out. All right, there you go. Well, if he'll let you. Oh, he got there just in time. Well, I can't wait to see what he gets for Christmas. 
He's got a compass! You nice, Jeff that. sells those at his store. You experienced that like you're so disappointed. Oh man, I, uh, I can't wait to see what I got. You get a sweater for Christmas. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have had those moments. We all have. Well, Thank you for bringing up those bad memories. My uncle surprised me with a good <laughs> surprise, though. I think it's Christmas in 90, uh, where he, uh, gave, he, he gave me my present. He goes, the way it's wrapped, it does look like it's a, a book or something. He goes, all right, now, Ronnie, this is a book. I want you to read this book, okay? This book is very important. I want you to read it. And I'm like, okay. And in my mind, I'm like, yay. And I opened it up. It was Super Mario Brothers 3. I was like, oh, whoa. Oh, man, that is crazy. Yeah. That was so cool. I wouldn't. Wow, that's like, yeah. You know what? I want to do that to somebody now. I'm gonna steal and, that idea. And the Christmases after that, like, it, they they try to switch it up. I think one time they put my present in a shoebox to maybe think, uh, to not not to be predictable. Um, but I think one time it was still wrapped in like a, like you could tell it's a, it's, it's you're gonna be a video game again. And we were joking about it. I said, I, gee, I wonder what that is. And, and they go, yeah, it's probably a pair of socks or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll open it up. It turns out it's uh, mm -hmm. I, for I forgot what other trying to remember what games I got for Christmas. I got Super Street Fighter one Christmas, Super Punch Out, uh, Street Fighter two Special Champion Edition for Genesis. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Now the only cool thing I can remember about Christmas gifts one time is my mom gave her best friend a uh, gift and she had wrapped it up and put it in like in like 12 small boxes which still amazes me to this day so she's opening it up opening it up she's like dang it what the hell did you get me my mom's <laughs> evil sometimes <laughs> you, you ever see uh you ever see a uh, very wally christmas like a dr wally uh, spoof years ago on uh, Newgrounds? i have not that sounds very interesting well uh, it's Christmas time, and then uh, all the robot masters want to celebrate for Christmas. But Doctor Wally, whoa, wait a minute! It's oh, Rudo. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a grown-up Rudo. <clears throat> it's uh, Link's fiance. Funny, I didn't get an invitation <laughs> to the wedding. Huh? At least Link don't look as stupid here as he did in that tunic, the water tunic in Twilight Princess. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Something fishy's going on here. Um, but I was gonna say, like, Doctor Wally hated Christmas, and then they went back to his past, and his mom would just torment him by giving him fake gifts. There'd be like a joke, and so as he got older, oh, he that's started... that's really messed up. Yeah, that's how Doctor Wally is... became the way he was, and that's why he hated Christmas. Oh wow. <clears throat> like, uh, is my he, that one year he was eight years old? Mom, I know it's I know it's empty, Mom. It's just gonna be the same thing like every year. I can't believe it. you think it's funny anymore. And his mom goes, "Now, Albert, I know, but this year I already bought you something. Where uh, you know I found his Game Boy. He goes, a Game Boy! Wow!" He opened it up, and it, it was like a, a gift. I forgot what he said, but it's like probably a face making fun of him. And she goes, ha, 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 "I would never buy you a Game Boy. I can't believe you're this stupid or something like that." I'm like, jeez. Literally. Yeah, and then the the next year. I think that was when he was eight years old. The next year, his mom goes, Now, come on now, doesn't it feel heavy? He goes, Well, yeah, I guess. And he smiled. He goes, It must be something this time because it feels heavy. He opened it up. It's like one of those Jack in the Box things, but with a boxing glove that knocked him out. <laughs> he goes, And she goes, <laughs> Wow. And that's how he, and his eyes started twitching when he was telling the story, having those horrible flashbacks. And that's the story of Dr. Wally, why he became so evil. Damn. That's messed up. You don't do don't mess kid. with somebody on Christmas or they'll turn evil. Yeah. Oh, and at the end of that uh, episode, uh, one of the robot masters found out his story and they all chipped in. We got you something for Christmas, Dr. Wiley. And he's like, oh, really? Wow. Uh, well, thanks. He goes, yeah, we heard about you. We know about your childhood. We felt bad. We all got you a present. He opened it up. It was Mega Man 5. And he started twitching. Wow. He started twitching again. Started rambling. <laughs> like he started going psycho. <laughs> oh damn! I thought he was about to pull a venom or something. <laughs> Ar Archangel. Damn it! I always get those two mixed up. Uh, Archangel. <laughs> well, well, the joke was it's Mega <laughs> Mega Man. You know, Doctor Wally hates Mega Man. Yeah. But Star Soldier would be like, no, it's because the game sucks. That's why he hated it. <laughs> 
what is it with Star Soldier and Mega Man 5? I always hear those two come up together. I don't know, but I think like one, one of my old, old 2008, 2007 Mega Man 5 videos, like SC2K archives or wherever it's at now, he actually, I think, posted a comment saying a good, a good thing about it, but then years later, he talks, talks bad about it. It's like, make up your mind. And so, yeah, I don't know. He says, I, I get it. Mega Man 5 at that point could be kind of repetitive. And like, uh, same thing over again, but he's, I, I don't know what his hatred is really for. It's not as bad as he says it is. Uh, I was just thinking, I don't know, I just, maybe he didn't have a good experience with the game, or it just wasn't as on par with any of the other Mega Man games. Yeah, it's hard to top two I, I what three. I got. Oh, okay. Mm, like I said, I, I, think, I think the Mega Man games that I played were, it's Mega Man 8, and the first two. So yeah, I went from 1, 2, and all the way to 8. Mega Man 8 was kind of stupid. Clown Man was kind of fun, though. We did that on S2K. Uh, Clown Man, I think. Small Time and Wonderful was Clown Man. But anyway, uh, I think me, Raven Spectre, Danny, and Ooh. Jeff was in that part. Clown Man. He was talking about the new, the remake of It, because It had just come out around that time. And But Mega Man 8 was kind of stupid. Especially Mega Man. That made him look fruity. I can dig it. Sucker. Mega Man, five time. Five time. Five, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Star Soldier's like, no, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no wonder why Star Soldier never came back. He's like, oh, you guys are talking about Mega Man 5. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'll send this video. Oh, cool. You're playing uh, Ocarina of Time. And then he hears Mega Man 5. He's like, oh, no. What are you, what are you doing talking about Mega Man 5 for? <laughs> Well, I almost want to troll him by buying him the game and sending it to his house. Oh, look what I got for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> Who sent this to me? I would do that for real. I did send it to Wee Guy <laughs> because he bought it from me years ago and I sent it to him. Uh. Oh, there's his uh, clam up. Clam up or clam down? Clam chowder. Oh man, now I want clam chowder. I love clam chowder soup. I haven't had that in years. And now we're from our sponsor, Campbell's Clam Chowder. You, you gotta use, okay, Link. You gotta use your uh, hook shot. You gotta use your lifelines. Will you phone a friend? A fifty-fifty, yeah. or ask the audience. There you go. I remember the oh, water so did, have you any of you played the Game Boy version or Game Boy Color Game Boy versions of uh, Legend of Zelda? No. No, I'm the only one that hasn't. Nah. I think I I can't even remember which one I played. Do you remember the water oh, dungeon or whatever it's called in uh, A Link to the Past? Oh. Yeah, man. I'll never forget that. Yeah, well, my friend Dagger recently uh, did part one of his speed run uh, due to schedule conflicts. He has to be able to pick up on it. Hopefully, this Friday he might. Uh, finish the rest of the stream, um, but yeah, he uh, sweet. He skimmed through that pretty quick. Uh, the Water Temple and uh, Ocarina of Time. I mean, uh, I linked to the past. Wait, you can not? Yeah, yeah. You gotta use a bomb to do that. That's right. Yeah, that worked a lot better. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, the other Danny, Lens of Truth, 16 to 8. Oh, no, wait. I don't know where he's at today. The Lens of ECW. <laughs> Ooh. I like how the bubbles turn red because, you know, blood. Well, I'm kind of surprised since they even allowed that. Oh, wow. Well, since it's Maybe the just turned the screen gray like WWE. Since it's the lens of ECW, does that mean that you get to see matches whenever time you want? Nice. Right. The ECW <laughs> Network. Well, actually, that's on WWE Network because they own it. <laughs> but the original interesting songs are edited out because of copyright. No kidding. No. Yeah, because, like, for example, back then, ECW, I don't know how they could have... Paul Heyman found a loophole or something because as they were kind of a poor company, but... They still afford licensed music. And so, like, okay. like Inner Sandman, if we go to the WWE Network right now and watch the Sandman come out, you won't hear Inner Sandman. You hear some generic version of it because the, the WWE does not have the rights to Metallica and they don't want to pay for it either to put it on the network. Cheap bastards. 
I can't blame nah, him for that, that really, but yeah. It's probably expensive, though. Yeah. Music's, music is expensive. Yeah. Just leave it at that. Yeah. Which, by the way, uh, as of this recording, 20 years ago this day, uh, ECW on TNN aired The Return of the Sandman in ECW. Oh, wow. I remember that. I was in high school at the time, and I watched the return of it, and the, the crowd, and how they just went crazy. And then Inner Sandman was I, playing, and then they, they were singing the lyrics to uh, Inner Sandman as it came out, and him bashing the beer over his forehead and then drinking it. And then, yeah, it was cool. My uncle, he used to record all the ECW on TNN. I wonder if he still has the VHSs anywhere. I would have to ask him. I do, and I still had that episode recorded. It's just uh, in my, been in my closet, and uh, I don't know if this VCR works anymore. I I don't know anybody that really has a working VCR. I know maybe one person. That's about it. I think my VCR works as far as using it for AB cables and stuff. But like uh, like if I want to capture NES footage from my NES console, I think it's a way to set it up with my capture USB capture device. But as far as playing tapes, I'm not sure if it does that anymore. Hmm. Who knows. I don't know about you, but this water level is confusing the hell out of me. Right, yeah. Better to have the hell confused out of you instead of having it confused back in you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Victor Lady, Lady Zelda just confused me to now I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, a lot of fusion there. <laughs> Confucius? It's confusing. <clears throat> uh, Southfield. I took some advice from Confucius. You know, you're not Chinese. Confucius. <coughs> oh, Vortex. Oh, no, wait, not yet. Oh, how are you going to get over there? Is that an opening over there? What is that? Snort. What are you snorting? <laughs> We're going to talk about this is a drug free channel. Oh my gosh, I almost did a snort laugh. <laughs> you don't get us demonetized? Oh wait. Oh no! <laughs> oh, don't even go there, Ron. <laughs> YouTube is not ST2K or Ron Moore friendly. Didn't you say they got rid of your ad revenue just because they thought... Um, well, you've always told the story. Yeah, because they thought I was clicking on my own ads. YouTube was like, wait, we're giving this guy money. Well, let's just take away his ad revenue. Uh... The Ticket Realm is hosting a uh, a raid on YouTube. If I remember, I'll, I'll, post a, I'll post a link in the description box if I let's forget. Uh, remember Area 51? Now they're going to storm YouTube. Be there or be square. Yep, and uh, the video is called Storm YouTube. They can't demonetize us all. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure they could. But yeah. <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny, though. It's not meant to be taken seriously. But some people, I'm sure, are going to take it serious and show up at the offices. I'm offended that well, they are offended. I'm offended that YouTube has so many snipers at their office. And yeah. I'm offended because being offended is offensive. Because I'm offended. That you're offended. Because being offended is a thing. <laughs> I found your face. It offensive. most certainly oh! is nowadays. At work, we had this thing called occurrences. It was kind of like, not re not necessarily a write-up, but like, uh, if you call in sick to work, okay, you're fine, but that's an occurrence if you don't have a doctor's note. If you get like seven within one year, you're fired. Um, each occurrence goes away after one year. But um, I told someone at work, I said, your face is an occurrence. <laughs> oh! Ooh! <laughs> and I got an occurrence for that because it was mean? <laughs> no, not really, but... I, I can see what you mean, yeah. There, no, I'd be that. I'd be that guy who would get six and be like, "Oh, I only need one more to get fired." Yeah, I've had a few from calling in where, all right, I can afford it, uh, cause man, I really feel real sick today. I can't get up. <laughs> I go, or I could could have gotten up, but I just said I want to just stay home, take the occurrence. <laughs> but it's still not a good idea. You should only really use it if you really, really <laughs> need to, and and um. Yeah, so, yeah. 
And that's the lesson of today. Do not use your occurrence unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. I don't know why this just popped up in my head, but 21 years ago this month, I bought my Game Boy Color. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh yeah, it's November. We're in December. Oh, it's, oh yeah, 21 years ago, I bought a Game Boy Color before everybody else. Everybody got them for Christmas. I saved up all my money and bought mine for, um, I think, yeah, it came out November 18th, 1998. And so I was like, all right, screw it. I'm going to buy it the, when it comes out. And then everybody's like, what? You got one? And everybody didn't get one till like, pretty much after Christmas. Huh. My favorite memory. And then I rented Zelda when they used to let you rent Game Boy games from Blockbuster. Oh, nice. Which I never Man, beat. that that brings me back. Like I remember when they used to have like the Nintendo 64 games and the family videos when I was like a little bitty thing and I'm just like, I'm going to get this one and that one and that one and this one. I would always re-rent re like the same freaking games. <laughs> I would have that occur a lot of times too. I'd be like, All right, I'm gonna rent this game again, and then be like, mm, I damn, this is like the fifth time renting this game. It's a really yeah. good game. I remember, um, like I had, oh, crap, what was it that I had picked out? It, I know it was like Nintendo 64 titles. I just freaking loved. Who am I kidding? I still do. And um, like my mom was all like, okay, well we can rent it for a couple of nights, but then it's got to go back that night. Which consoles like, did you rent the most games for? Oh man, PS One. Uh, oh Nintendo, wow. Nintendo sixty four and a bit of the PlayStation Two, which I actually still have all of the freaking above. So nice. <laughs> what about you? What about you, Ron Moore? Would you rent the most? There was uh, games for. Uh, man, might be. That's hard to say. NES, Genesis, or SNES. Mine was SNES because I've only I only own three games for the system, and I would always swap them out. And be like, hey buddy, let me borrow this game. I'll let you borrow this game, and then I would just rent games for the Super Nintendo. I never collected for the Super Nintendo. Um, I remember a local store here years ago called Flix, rentals chain store, like a poor man's version of Blockbuster, but it was cool. And uh, if you got like 14 rentals, your 15th one was free. That is dope. So that That's was cool because I would rent games there all the time, and I would it'd be so awesome when I got that milestone. I, like, yes, all right, my fit. This this rental's free because I rented fourteen before that. So yeah, they see me there all I the time. I could just imagine games. the excitement. Yeah. It's like I got a free game rental. Yeah, pizza. Hell yeah, it's gonna be an awesome night. No, <laughs> Rent video games and oh, yeah. eating pizza. Oh yeah, I, I, man, that store was where uh, I first discovered Turtles in Time. I'm like, whoa, that's a oh, Turtles. Okay. What? There's a Ninja Turtles four Turtles in Time for SNES. What? And I rented that. Man, it was freaking awesome. When I first played it, I'm like, man, we're at the Tetris drum already. This game is too short. But then that was just the beginning. Oh, it was just the beginning. No, that would have been one short ass game then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have known you were going to do that. <laughs> Tips would do that. <laughs> if you haven't seen uh, Time to Play Discuss, Metal Gear Solid 2, Shameless Plug, check it out in the description box below. With me and Tibbs at the very end of the game, discuss the game. Triple H? Nope. Dead. Metal Gear Solid 2. So pause this video and go watch that video and then come back to this video. That's yeah. what he's saying. Do it now. Yeah, that do it now. Probably more entertaining than this one. And then, and then, like, subscribe for more videos because, yeah, that's just how the world works. Yeah. All right, here you go. Here's where you make the water levels rise up. It's like I'm already lost. If I was playing, we'd still be at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You'd be like, God, this is so stupid. Yeah. I realize that some people say it's super easy, and then you have the people who are just like. Dude, I took my controller and I smashed my TV with it because ROAR! And yeah. I'm like, whoa, dude, calm down. <laughs> yeah, like, ROAR! So you couldn't do that nowadays, 
smash uh, game because most of the games are digital now. Yeah. Ah, now I gotta smash the whole console. Yeah. And some people have done that. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I almost broke some controllers and games back. The Donkey Kong 64, I like fighting the one of the K. Rule boss battles, or no, it was always a I forgot it was a weird boss battle. I think it's in the ghost the ghost world of Donkey Kong 64. The boss battle was like making me so mad. I was like. What do you do? I thought I hit him. What is going on? And that made me so mad. I almost took the game out through it against the freaking wall. I was so mad. I wouldn't blame you. We've all been there before. We've yeah. all been there. Yeah. What would... What, 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 what would... Uh, Goblin say? It's not rage, it's passion. That's and right. then it's yep. rage. Yep. <laughs> and then it's rage. Streets of passion. <laughs> passion. It's quit. not rage. It's a heart attack and waiting. Yeah, the heart foundation. <gasps> ah, the heart foundation. The hearts. Who's your favorite heart? I like Owen Hart. You like Owen Hart better than Bret Hart? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? I'm like, I just do. Are you stupid? No, no, I just like Owen Hart better. You know, he's uh, the Black Heart, and enough was enough, and it's time for a change. Yeah, I've really had had somebody call me out on that. They're like, dude, Bret Hart, come on, dude. You're going to like Owen Hart? Come on. And, of course, a year later, that uh, incident happened, and I was like, ooh. But, yeah, he was always my favorite. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a pretty good technical wrestler, pretty much like Bret Hart was. Yeah, I think it was just in his brother's shadow, that's all it was. Yeah, I made that storyline. I've been living in the shadow of my brother! Is it cold there? No, I'm joking. <laughs> in the <laughs> shadow? No, you fight him in the shadow temple. Uh-oh. That'll be interesting. So, who, who makes these shoes for Link or boots and Nike? I don't know. Maybe Under Armour. I mean Reebok. The Iron Fila. Boots. The Iron Boots is meant for Iron Will for those that don't quit. Magic Link doing a commercial for Nike. The Iron Boots made by Nike, and people actually <laughs> buy them in real life. They sell them in real life, and they're walking around dragging their feet, but they don't care because it's it's a uh, uh, Legend of Zelda shoes, and it's by Nike. And then Knowing they, some people, they probably would. And they go into the lake and wear them, thinking they can't drown if they had the water tunic on. And then oh then, God! <laughs> Lawsuits. Yeah. Wait. No. I. I think the court system be like you can't. Uh, you can't sue because you're too stupid. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Assuming somebody like that, they wouldn't be able to sue anyways. They would be too stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Are you stupid? No. Don't no. Be a from our sponsor, Reebok yeah. Pumps. Don't be Pump a it dumb. up. Don't be a dumb. Shut up, Mr. Man. I said go to the MoneyGram and send the eight eighty <laughs> rupees. What? Shut up, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> what are you stupid? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Are you dumb? Are you really that dumb? Shut up and listen to me. Shut up. If I'm talking, you don't talk. <laughs> listen to me, you dumbass. Shut up. Let's play a drinking game every time he says shut up. Yeah, I told, I told my friend at work, watch part three of Josh Brown Hoax Hotel. Take a <laughs> shot every time he says shut up. Jeez. Yeah. Dude, I was drunk yeah. before the video even ended. I know, right? Jeez. You die of alcohol poisoning watching that playing that game i would be beyond saving because i don't really drink that much or that often yeah. so i'm kind of boring <laughs> take take a shot at every clear every time no don't oh no, I, I worked with this girl who told me i think she was like real young maybe like under under 18 drinking uh, every clear she had to go to the hospital and she learned the hard way don't do that <laughs> yeah that's not good yeah do not do that yeah are you stupid don't do that no, no, I just want to have a good time here. A good time in the ER. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Hoax Hotel has merchandise. I, I ordered my shirt. Can't wait for it. Damn, Ron Moore coming up on that. Yep. Merchandise. Yep. Ooh, uh, the promo code is Demurrage. <laughs> Jeez. Why am I not surprised? Yep. <clears throat> oh, come on, you can beat the Tic Tac. Oh. Come on, you can beat him in tic-tac-toe. 
Yeah. Just go three times in a row and then tell him, you go three times in a row and then you let him go. Yeah. You win every time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's behind door number one? Let's find door number 20. Yeah, for reals, we're probably at that point. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I remember how this. did people figure this out back in the day without internet? I don't remember. I just. I think I had to because I didn't have the player's guide. And, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Magazines were a thing. Players' guides, strategy guides, whatever you like I to think call them. friends in school help me out, too, from time to time. Oh, yeah, people could help you out, too, with that. I remember, I forgot what it was. It was Resident Evil Code Veronica. I got stuck at one part, and I was like, you know what, screw this. So I went to a game store, and I was like, all right. Or, no, it's a, it was, it's like a store. And I was like, oh, okay. The, they show how to beat this one part. So I picked up the magazine, read that one part, went back home, and I was like, all right, can finally beat that part. I yeah, I was a cheap ass. I didn't buy the magazine. I think you told me that. You was like, uh, doing that. And when someone said, hey, kid, buy that or leave. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I'm leaving. I already know. God, what I'm looking for. Yeah. But then they track you down. They send you a bill for obtaining information that you didn't pay for. Uh-oh. Hey, you know what? That's what that bill was in the, in the mail that I got the other day. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. You still owe that from 20 years ago. It, it accumulates over time. It accumulates. I'd be like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna just let it accumulate till I die. I'll pay it back later. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Never. I'll pay it back when I die. Okay. I'll see you in afterlife. Okay, then you'll pay for it. I'll see you in hell. Jeez, Vince. What did I do to you? No, I'm joking. Somebody Vince. get the salt. The yes. lawnmower's going mad. <laughs> Vince, but man, the, the bath salt. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bath salty. No, uh,. Vispa man, what he, what he said one time, he goes, uh, matter of fact, when I die, I hope I go straight to hell. And my friend was like, he's stupid. <laughs> Dude, you'd make a nice Freddy Cougar impression, just saying. No, I think Ravner Spectre would. Oh, <laughs> man, he, he, he'd be a good Carmen, too. Who? He, he Carmen from South Park. Oh, man. Oh, Car oh, Carmen, I thought you said Carmen, like Carmen San Diego. I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, maybe he could. We never asked him to. We, we, next time I talk to him, I'll be like, hey, do a Carmen San Diego impersonation. I'll be like, I'll be blown away. I'll be like, what the? No, I'm joking. Did Carmen San Diego ever talk? Um, I'm thinking of the one that comes out nowadays. I'm not thinking of the ones probably from the past. From the past, I never heard her talk, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I remember the game show. And I remember that. Oh, uh, God. Where in the <laughs> world is Carmen San Diego? And then Conan O'Brien did one where, where in the building is huh, Andy Richter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember that. Oh, my God. That, that, was, that was funny. Conan no. O'Brien is probably the only good, funny talk show uh, today. Oh, I must drop my phone. Oh, my fail. God. I do remember that. <laughs> oh, Link <laughs> fell right there. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oops. Link, you're playing like Mexico. Don't do that. <laughs> this this is how not to pull a Mexico cool dude. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so is that Arrowhead I'm water he's swimming in? Ar Ar Arrowhead. <laughs> Our Aquafine. What kind of water is that he's swimming in? Oh, I'm sure. Arrowhead pond. bottled water. Uh oh. Dasani. Yeah, disown Dasani. <laughs> I disown you. Oh, jeez. Now I just had this, like, crazy headcanon of somebody just walking up to Darmani from Majora's. Oh, hey, here's a Dasani for Darmani. Maybe it'll bring him back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go jeez. to the hot springs and find the right kind of uh, spring tonic Dasani or whatever. Or am I thinking of Chrono Trigger? <laughs> Imagine a Chrono Trigger look like this. Oh, wow, that'd be interesting. Where in the building is huh, Andy Richter? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It was so funny. <laughs> 
Oh, I had to put my phone on mute. No. I, was, I, was, I had to put mute. I was laughing so much. Oh my goodness. I remember, oh. um... <laughs> what was it? Oh, imagine this right here. Like, they'd, be, they'd be like... They'd be like, oh. Where in the temple is <gasps> Ganondorf? Or whatever, I don't know. Jeez. I couldn't tell you, because I would never be able to find him. Yeah. I'm dead, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> now I'm going to try to look that up on YouTube. See that? <laughs> You're going to die of laughter, and that's about it. But it's a good way to go out. Now I can't take the freaking water temple seriously, because now every time I go to complain it, I'll think of Ron while we're doing that thing. Ron Moore has completely ruined it for you. <laughs> yeah. I won't be able to take it seriously anymore. Like, I could just probably have a buddy over trying to do it, and then they'll just go, Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I've, I've, I've made jokes before where people would, like think about it or someone would say something, they start laughing, and the other person next to them is like, What? What's so funny? All he said was this. Well, well, yeah, well, there's this guy named Ronnie, and, <laughs> and, and like, Sarah, uh, Blue Rose, Sarah from the SC2K Discord, um, mm -hmm. that she was at church one day, and um, the women were talking about, uh, do please donate to the uh, Evangelical Christian Women Fund, and so she goes, please donate to the ECW Fund, and so Sarah just starts laughing, and, like, goes, like snorty real quick or oh something, or snickered, and her husband's sitting next to her, but her husband got it because he knows me, and he, uh -huh. he and uh, she kind of laughed like, <laughs> and I was wondering if anybody else heard her just turn around like, what is so funny about that? You, you think it's funny that we need Trust money me, for the fun? You, you would know. <laughs> yeah, you said ECW. If you don't know now, you know. All right, there's the Saturday Night Live skit where it's back when uh, Clinton was president, and uh, I don't know some. There's a, the guy that Daryl Hammond, I think, was the guy that uh, played as Bill Clinton. And this woman gets up there to petition something. And she goes, "Oh, was, all these other people got some stuff, and I was just wondering, where's my stuff?" And for some reason, we thought that was funny. Where's my stuff? And me and my friend in sixth grade would joke about it. It'd be an inside joke. I go, "Hey, man, where's my stuff?" And so we had this teacher that says the word stuff. And just that stuff. word stuff triggered me and my friend to kind of look at each other and laugh. The teacher's like, what's so funny? Oh, um, I looked to my friend. <laughs> like, you explain it. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, well, you said the word stuff. and But the teacher didn't even let him explain it. He goes, oh, I was just saying about the, this story right here in, in, the, in the world history. The teacher still didn't get it, and we just left it alone. <laughs> We're like, all right. No, but I'm sure you guys all had a good laugh at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was a mean teacher, too. I'm surprised he didn't say, What's so funny? You think it's funny that Christopher Columbus discovered America? No, sir. We're, we're, we're laughing about uh, an inside joke. Sir, you just wouldn't get it. You're not cool enough. Yeah. That sounds... Yeah. He probably no, just spin kicked my head off. Say that. <laughs> well, I had a teacher one time tell me, and Ron, I'm pretty sure I'll get this to Victoria, but the teacher said, If I can be serious for a minute, <laughs> everybody just started cracking up. What's so funny? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you said, let's be serious for a minute. Well, what's so funny about that? Oh, it was this wrestler named Lance Storm. And... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up and be serious for a minute! Why are you so stupid? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh, man, I just remember that, though. We were cracking up. He's like, all right, class, calm down, calm down. If I can be serious for a minute, and we just start cracking up. And he's like, I don't... He didn't get what we were saying. <laughs> I was like, it was hilarious. It's not funny! I mean, <laughs> I mean this kid... He's on my Facebook. I'll probably send the, him this video. See, I'm sure he remembers this because we still joke about it to this day. In class, he would always be like, like he would be quiet, right? And then all of a sudden, he'll go, yeah. And then, and then teachers like, what the heck was that? A few minutes later, yeah. And the teacher gets mad. All right, who's who? Whoever's doing that, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> A few minutes later. <laughs> 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 I try not to laugh. <laughs> All right, whoever's making that noise needs to stop. He would mainly do it to substitute teachers who are driving crazy. <laughs> like, <"Yeah." laughs> it became this joke, and we used to. Work, and then years later, we worked together. Hey, did you go to university house? Yeah, I remember you. And we go. Yeah. We start doing it all over again at work. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Imagine the manager. Stop saying. Uh. 
Uh, he came into my yeah. he came into my job years ago when I was eating. I walked by the table. He was with his family or friends. I just go as I walked by. I go yeah, and I walked off real quick. <laughs> and he, he he started laughing. Everybody else was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> it's like I, I I just don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Well, I don't think Link gets his water temple right here. I, he might still be lost. I think he's making some progress here. You know, <laughs> you know that kind of reminds me of the noise that I make, like, you know, when I'm around people who annoy the crap out of me, who deliberately do stuff to annoy me. I just look them square in the face, and I'm all like, <laughs> 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 I've seen this uh, meme on Facebook. You might have seen it, Victoria. Um, this is drawing. It's the illustration where this guy goes. Hey, why are you so you're so quiet? And the guy goes, "Oh, I'm sorry about that." Ah! Ah! And he kept on screaming <laughs> nonstop, even when the guy went to bed at night. He's next to his bed. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, that is horrible, but what? funny. I like it. It's like, well, uh, yeah. Some people say, "Why are you so quiet?" It's, what if I said, "Why are you so loud?" That would be rude, would it? Damn. I would just say, would you please shut the hell up? Like, I was new at this job You're on one the list. time. Yeah. I was new at this job one time, and this girl goes, so how can we never talk? And these two other dudes heard her, and they go, what do you mean? Ronnie does talk. Well, I never see him talk or hear him talk. Well, he talks to us. <laughs> so, yeah, just because I don't talk to uh, a certain person don't mean I don't talk at all. And right. In introverts are kind of like that. So, it's not that we're necessarily shy. We just don't open up to everybody. Or when Talking we do open inserts up, too much energy. Or when, when we do open up, you wish we shut up. Exactly. Would you please? Ronnie, no. why don't you talk more? Okay. <laughs> ah! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. So I'm looking at the sidebar here on YouTube <clears throat> as we're doing commentary. We've got the awesome John Kratz live. Uh. Fan ACW Wolves is online. There's a Hoax Hotel video, and Captain ECW is also live. Cool. Check them out. Oh, right see, now. that's why I watch it on my TV so I don't get distracted by looking at all that stuff. Yeah. Well, you can easily be distracted with the Water Temple. Uh, uh, this is taking a long time because how challenging the Water Temple is. Oh, yeah. It, it would take like three or four times as long if I was doing it, so we oh. should be thankful that I'm not. Oh, that spotter got him. <laughs> oh, shit. What are, what, does Link have spider cider from Uninvited? Wow. Maybe. That's a good question. Somebody in the comments, please answer that. That'd be cool. Use a spider cider just like in Uninvited. So with Link. Dub. Will the real Link please stand up? Yeah. For you. With a fake, <clears throat> with a fake, sli fake Slim Shady, please sit down. Please sit down. Well, I'm exactly. Down, so I mean, John Cena versus Eminem rap battle WrestleMania confirmed. Damn. I think they're supposed to do that 2003 back when John Cena <clears throat> was a gangster rapper, but I don't know what happened. Or I think he's supposed to freestyle rap against somebody else, and it got scrapped. I think it might have been either Fabulous or. Yeah, our NMN, one of those guys. Maybe, I'm not sure. Somebody. Machine Gun Cuddy, or who, whatever his name is. Machine Gun Oh yeah, the guy smelly? that got power, bo power bombed by Kevin Owens. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a rapper, call myself Spread Gun, Ronnie. Ooh! Because ah. I'd be comfortable without dying, with just Spread Gun. Spread Gun, Ronnie. Dang. Speaking of speaking of Contra, didn't you? I forgot somebody in the live stream said that wasn't there a demo for the PS4, like a PS4 Contra something. Uh, I thought it? there was gonna be a new one on Switch. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was gonna be on Switch, but there was a demo of Contra for the PS4. Switch. Uh, I have to look into. Switch. You said. You said. Um, we talked about speaking of whatever. You go at first. You said you said speeching, speeching. <laughs> Speeching, speeching of Contra. <laughs> speeching of Contra. <clears throat> uh, I got freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, oh! biatch. <laughs> you see that? Oh, we got him upside the head again. <laughs> you know, let oh, spot. Oh, oh, you gonna let spider hit you like that? Oh, oh, oh. 
Remember in high school, you instigate fights so easily just by going, ooh. Yeah, anything would start a fight. Just like Donkey Kong 64, me and Lewis were laughing that me and Venom 22 were laughing this so hard. Like, there's a bonus game. And whenever you're winning at the bonus game, the other Kremlings, or whatever they were called, would, would boo you. And it sounded like, boo, boo, boo. But to us, we heard, ooh, 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 ooh. Like, you're trying to instigate a fight with somebody. I go, I said, Lewis, this is like, <laughs> sounds like they're trying to get a fight here in school. Ooh, 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 ooh. My favorite were food fights. I like those. I never saw, I kind of saw one in my job one time, but before it got out of hand, the manager had told him to stop it. Oh, God. No, not, not, in not in my current <laughs> job. Not in my current job, but more than years ago. Um, yeah, uh, I never seen those in school. Um, I mean, yeah, not in person. Uh, I may have caused one. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I can see you doing that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just hear food fight, and everybody's like. Tch. They can't put us all in detention. <laughs> well, they, can. they probably could. There was, yeah, uh, they can. You know those, uh, some schools, I guess, I guess all schools have different names for them. Like, they might be, it's called in-school suspension. Do you know what I'm talking about? You're, Unfortunately, you're yes, I do. You're still in school, but you're, you're uh, in a uh, different classroom for a while with your head facing the wall all day long. Doing work. And where I was at, junior <coughs> high at least, or high school, I I'm trying to remember the names of them. One of them was called Sack. Oh, um, God. I got SAC, uh, students. Uh, I have no idea what it meant. Sack. And there was another room called Act Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Act Right. And I saw that on the cafeteria wall. It says Act Right, room 104. I thought it meant. All right, you students need to act right room 104. You got to behave and start acting right. I'm like, why did they put that on the wall? Why don't I go in there and tell them to act right? And then someone said, no, that's the room for act right, which is like an in-school suspension program. <laughs> and oh. I look back on it now, like, it's called act right. <clears throat> Jeez, man. Now, we used to have, um, if you, were, if you had too many tardies, if you were late, you got too many of those, you were ending up at the worst possible thing, and it was called Saturday school. Yeah, the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Yep. I tell you what was yeah, worse I for can't me. Know. What was punishment <clears throat> for me is when you had to change your color in elementary and you missed all of recess. Ooh. Oh, that's horrible. What is that? Whoa. You tell me. <clears throat> Are you fighting uh, a sloth doing the voiceover for Dark Link here? Damn, that's a good guess. That's probably what it is. Words of Wisdom, Volume 1. What is it, Zelda 2 all over again? Imagine Zelda 2 looking like this. Oh, man. Wow. That'd be pretty cool. No, that would be Mexico. Yeah. Dark Link. ECW Link. He, became, he turned heel, became Ooh. emo. So my money is on Link. I don't have any money. Oh damn. I got rupees though. Ah! No. Ah, that'll work too. That's currency. Somewhere. It's like he's mimicking his every move. How's it? Wait, look at this! He's sitting his face the other way. How? What? Oh! This is a weird, creepy looking room. I feel like you're playing uh, a different game, right? Like Shadowgate or something now. Shadowgate 64? Oh, uh, no. How does that always come up? Victoria, okay. if you ever have a time, watch our Shadowgate 64 LP on this 2K channel. Yeah, oh, watch man. like the first 15 seconds and then you'll pass out. Yeah. Or die of boredom. One of those. Part 9 was funny. J Man is commentary in that. This is stupid. This is oh, I think part five and nine. Part five is where he rage quit. He's got sick of the game, sucking so bad. And then part nine, this is commentary over it. Her say stuff like, "Oh, this is stupid. Is this the speed that the game moves? Stupid." Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, J Man was the smart one. He's like, "Nope, screw you guys. I'm out of here." Yeah. Oh, Link. Look at this here. I never thought. Oh, Whoa. oh, it finished him off. <laughs> I 
Alright, what an intense battle that was. It feels like it was the boss battle. Falling asleep at school and then the teacher waking you up. And then telling the teacher, hey, do I wake you up when you sleep? Uh, yeah, can you beat this game in five minutes? Not by a long shot! Nope. Oh, there's the block of time again. I couldn't beat this game even if I had 5,000 minutes. Right. So if there's a block of time, what about the ball of time? Right. Or the hula hoop of time? Wait, hula hmm. hoop of time? <laughs> hula, 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 hell are you? <laughs> Hulu, Hulu. Hulu, Hulu yeah. has live sports. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at the vortexes. Yeah, well, oh no, no, oh no, I think you got Link. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Uh -oh. oh, 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 I think. Wait a minute. Not me! Not me! Not my! <clears throat> Does anybody want some coffee? Who wants coffee? Huh, buddy, you want coffee? I'll take some. <laughs> I remember that was so funny. When I first seen that. Who wants coffee? Buddy, you want coffee? Hey, who wants coffee? Coffee Kingston? Coffee? He's got a key! He's got a key! Everybody duck! Oh, he's stuck. Oh man, this reminds me of Gear Solid 2, the water level I had to swim through. Oh, jeez. How did that turn out? It turned out... Well, I beat the game, so it turned out good, but... Still frustrating things about it. I was swimming face first to one of the underwater bombs. Ouch. And oh, then man, Emma, Emma, Emma ended up drowning. I was like, oops. Damn, that sucks. That's that sounds frustrating. Yeah, when she drowned, I should have said, Oh well, you're gonna end up down anyway. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now looking at all this water is making me very thirsty. And now word from our sponsor. Dasani or Sprite. The Sony Sprite. <laughs> I remember, I think a little kid at work a few days ago told his mom, well, Sprite's the best way to quench your thirst. <laughs> I'm like, Jeez. no. Jeez. Who told you that, that commercial? <laughs> uh. Obey your thirst. Okay, uh, it's time to drink water. Oh, finally, you get over there. Nice, here we go. Well, damn, Ron, just let me. It takes me a few times. I'm not as good as everybody else. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I would have failed. Uh, this this would have been over a long time ago. I'd have rage quit. Streets of rage quit. Streets of ice cream. Oh, I remember this. Jeez. He's like, forget this. I no, I'm not like this. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's what I would have done. I would have done the same thing too. I'd be like, screw this. I'm out of here. Right? Just like Victoria. She's out of here. Right. <laughs> oh, there she is. Well, she's the smart one. She's like, yeah, I can secretly get away while they're not thinking. Yeah. What is thinking, anyways? We're thinking. We're thinking. Wait, where did Victoria go? Oh, no. She left. That reminds me of Gunstar Hero 21. Green. Um, let's think. Lols. Oh god, that's a name I haven't heard for the longest time. Yeah, well, Facebook told me that we've been Facebook friends 10 years last month. Holy smokes. Time passes by fast, don't it? We know each other longer than that, though. We met on the MSN, uh, MSN group days back in 2003. Jeez. Oh man, that's like way back in the day. Yeah, too bad. Uh, uh, did, were you on MSN back then, Victoria? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> so, so were you? Do you happen to hear or be a part of the Zelda MSN group? I don't believe so, but there was other interesting crap that I found. There was but, a, a Zelda MSN know. group that was founded. Well, the MSN groups was founded in 1999, and they, uh, my friend uh, Heather, had uh, created that group. It, it was just called Zelda, Simp not Hyrule Warriors. Not, well, back then it was Hyrule Warriors, but nothing fancy. It was just called Zelda, and it was one of the biggest. Well, I think the biggest Zelda group at the time, and uh, I didn't join it until 2000. Uh, five or 2006 and uh, yeah like that was a, a huge group I was a part of back then I ended up being coming like one of the uh, moderators or assistant managers of the group and oh, yeah, wow, yeah that's it cool. had, had a lot of members and it started the same year your mission group started 1999 it's kind of like doing the equivalent of uh, well it's probably about the size of Hyrule Warriors today on, on Facebook oh okay really yeah Dang, I never got into MSN, so I couldn't tell you anything. I knew people that were into that, though. I joined the group around the time, I think close to time, uh, maybe a year or so before Twilight Princess came out. So when Twilight Princess came out, man, we're, that's nothing, that's all we would talk about. Nothing but Twilight Princess. Of course, we told people if you're going to talk about it, post spoiler warnings ahead of time. Because. Spoiler alert! Yeah, because, uh, man, that was. One of the biggest topics we talked about at that time was uh, Twilight Princess. And the acronym for it, TP, wasn't the best acronym, but anyway. <laughs> TP. Ooh. And no, we're not talking about toilet paper. The Legend of Zelda, toilet paper. <laughs> toilet Princess. <laughs> toilet Princess, yeah. <laughs> That'd be something like... <laughs> what, what would... <laughs> What would that look like? You, you the uh, one of the the final temple is a big toilet, and you got a, it's like the water temple like this, except you found you gotta uh, swim through brown chunks and y yellow water. Oh, no, I don't know. Never mind. No, I don't want to think about that. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of toilet humor. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, what are your, one of the items in the inventory is toilet paper. I don't know. Jeez. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. You know, I got this headcanon going on right now of the toilet princess. Oh, well, we have to go into um, toilet form in the toilet realm. And then go to the toilet temple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the boss of the toilet temple? Who's the boss of the game? It can't be Gandorf anymore. It gotta be somebody else. No freaking clue. It'd be, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, a plumber or <laughs> a roller rooter, or I don't know. No idea. Somebody in the comments will know, though. Yeah, this is probably the worst commentary in the history of SC2K. Well, I'm on here, so yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, like, one of the, one of the things Josh Brown said, he, he told Hoax Hotel, you're the dumbest person I've ever dealt with, what, the most I've ever dealt with. And he goes, oh, the most you ever dealt with. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. So shut, just go. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I can imagine someone listening to this saying, this is, the, this is the dumbest commentary I've ever heard on YouTube. The dumbest commentary I've ever heard. And I, we're like, oh, the dumbest you ever heard. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Like, so shut, just go. <laughs> just go, just go. Shut, just go and check out the Hoax Hotel. Okay, I'm, I want to see Josh Brown's face and reaction if he has happens to discover those videos and that's his voice in the phone call. It's like, oh man, it was a joke the whole time. He got me. Shut up, shut up. That would be interesting. I think a lot of scammers, yeah, they, the, a lot of scammers know who knows who he is. Not just him, but other oh, other, okay. other other YouTube channels too. They do the same thing. They they can tell like in one of the videos of Hoax Hotel, the guy goes, uh huh, Hoax Hotel, right? So, yeah, he, they know who Hoax Hotel is, especially over there in India, I think. And uh, the scam call centers. Uh-huh, Hoax Hotel, right? Shut your mouth, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all right, all right. Yeah, that, that video we got to watch sometime. It's called, it's like a Bitcoin scammer video. Not Bitcoin scammer, but like he tries to convince the scammers 
can he, can he pay in Bitcoin <laughs> instead of credit card or cash or or, or MoneyGram? Can, he goes, can I pay in Bitcoin? I'd be like, I don't know. Can I? <laughs> be like asking a question. Yeah, and finally, a one, question the, one, for the, a question. one of the guys, uh, there's other people that discover who he is too. They go, uh, wait, he goes, yeah, my name is Greg Trinket. And the scammer goes, uh-huh, Hoax Hotel, right? Uh, no, my name is Greg Trinket, right? Hoax Trinket. Hotel? You're dumb, right? Shut up. Shut your mouth. <laughs> And the other video, and this guy goes, uh, uh, I saw a video the other day, uh, and you sound just like the guy he's prank calling the scammer. As a matter of fact, I think you are him. <laughs> you think or you know I'm him? You think yeah. you know me? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Even Christ. though I like Christian better. Captain Charisma. Yep, Captain Charisma. Captain ECW. That he was. Edge, screw you! I was better! Hey, yeah. Well, you were, but he's still my favorite. Remember his interest music when he first broke up with uh, Edge? He goes, Christian! Christian! At last, you're on your own! Some opera that music. That was hilarious. I do remember that. <laughs> my dad, I remember when he saw that, he's like, oh yeah, Christian finally ditched that loser Edge. I liked uh, his other music after that when he cut his hair short. And became Captain Charisma. It's called uh, "Just Close Your Eyes." Remember that? Oh yeah, that was much better. Yeah, I like that one. And then he went to TNA, became the world champion. Well deserved. Yep. Long overdue. Alright, I think Leak should be close to boss by now. I have no idea where oh! the hell Leak is. Oh, EC Dub! EC Dub! He is not anywhere I would want to be, that's all I gotta say. Oh, he's in trouble. Freaking Ooh, Boulder hit him. he's in trouble! Oh. He's got too many tardy. Uh -oh. Too many tardies? Damn. Oh, I got him. Alright, start this again. You gotta show their spotters first. You gotta shoot first and ask questions later. Just like in Contra. Yep. Why are you stupid? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! First day of training as a cop. Here's a gun. You shoot first, ask questions later. Wait, is that it? You shoot first, you ask questions later. Any questions? Boom! Not joking. <laughs> if we can, if we get anybody anybody to actually sit through this whole video and watch it, um. Post in the comments if I forget to post links to the channels I'll talk about. Uh, there's another channel I want to mention called Donut Operator. Donut Operator. He used to be a cop. And oh. freaking awesome channel. I think over a mil million subscribers, I think. The word of the day is, the secret word is Chex Mix Pringo. So if you know this word, then we know you've watched most of this video, or you somehow skip to this part. Fandango. Uh-oh. You know who I haven't heard from is Hypersquare. I wonder how he's doing. Oh yeah, uh, that's a good question. I wonder. How I was just going through my subscriber or not subscribers, but like people I'm subscribed to, and then one day I just oh yeah, Hypersquare. I clicked on one of his videos. It's like oh, yeah, I haven't yeah, I haven't seen any comments from him. What about you? I haven't seen him in a while either. Uh, I'm really wondering what happened to Minecraft Martin. Oh yeah, he was yeah for reals. I know he comes up quite a bit. We always talk about so, Oh, yeah, no, I enjoyed mine, his commentary, but... Yeah, uh, I, what did happen to him? I was going back to, uh... Just look at my old videos from the beginning until now. And just looked at the thumbnails for him and the titles of them. Brought back a lot of memories. And I was like, man, I remember doing that. Oh, I remember that part of my life I was at the time. Oh, man, I remember, uh... Doing that video. I remember this person doing... Vi in the video with me. What happened to these people? It's crazy. I know, like, if I ever stop doing videos, I'll tell you, I'll be like, uh, who is it? You said Jinsu? You know, you know, I'm just gonna stop, whatever. I won't be like, you know, ah, I'm just gonna stop and you never hear from me again. Hey, whatever happened to Ernest? Yeah, I mean, who know? I know they, they don't really owe us anything, but it'd be nice if, like, they, um, or, like, post a video or, May this loss interesting. Like, it's not that they don't care about us and they just want to leave us hanging, but at the same time, it'd be nice to 
see it for somebody how they're doing like fcu 100 someone had posted a comment on my channel saying hey he read your comment he wanted me to tell you he's doing fine blah 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 so oh, okay that's cool yeah because we just think about that i thought about that too because when you said minecraft minecraft martin i was like oh yeah i remember the videos he was in on st2k and i remember watching his channel and i'm like damn what the hell happened to him hopefully he's all right that's all i care about is that he's all right all right yeah no one will ever notice I'm gone. When I'm gone. No, I'm sorry. I don't know how that intimate song goes. Like, remember, guys, remember Ron Moore back in the day? Who, 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 who? No. Who in the blue hell is Ron Moore? I was joking with somebody. Uh, um, I forgot who I told. I was joking you with know somebody. Who Skip Rogers oh, is. I, I mentioned in the live stream that uh, I, I was after the Contra live stream or CVS2 live stream. I said, all right, guys, um, <clears throat> just an announcement just to let you guys know. This will be my last time streaming on YouTube. Mixer has paid me a pretty penny to exclusively stream on Mixer. So check me out on Mixer. And I go, no, I'm just kidding. And some people actually took that seriously. They believed it for a second. Whoa, they'd be like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, why would Microsoft pay me? Imagine them making a trader. Oh, you've heard Ninja. You've heard of whoever, so-and-so. Now, also, exclusive to Mixer, Ron Mower. Crickets. Who? Who? Who's, who's this Booker Ron T, tell me you didn't Mo just Lons say that. Something? Ron Blower, make you out of here. All these streams of CVS2 <laughs> all the time. And come on, man, who cares about this guy? <laughs> hey, you're consistent, though. You have streams when you can and pretty consistent with them. Haven't been consistent on S2K, though. It's like a month. We finally got this part uploaded uh, one, one month after the Fire Temple. Hey. Has it been that We're, long? Yep. Because right before I went to Mexico, from when we did that. You went to Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I posted on my YouTube channel saying, Alright guys, I'm relaxing in Mexico. As you saw me relaxing in the hammock. And uh, Valerie said, I went to Mexico one time. I had too much to drink or something. I forgot what she said. Oh God, that sounds about right. Yes, that sounds right. Yep. <laughs> I still haven't been to Mexico. I, mean, I think I lived. I don't live that far from it. I mean, you came to my live stream. And I'm like, yeah, I'm awake because I can't sleep. She's snoring. Oh, oops. Wait, I should have said that. If she hears this, you're in trouble. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she posted a comment. What'd you say, Ernest? I snore too loud. What? Well, okay, honey, that's okay. Um, what we can do is you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> that's pretty much what I did that one night. Oh. oh! <laughs> you gonna be sleeping on it again after this? Watch this part. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. You're like, honey, don't watch part 14 of Ocarina of Time. Why not? Oh, it sucks. You don't want to watch it. Because I said so. No, <laughs> What'd you say about me, Ernest? Nothing. That's it. I'm going to watch it now. She's going to sit through the whole hour and a half of it. I'll do. That. I'll say that on a video where I don't say anything about her, and she's going to watch it and be like, you didn't say a damn thing about No. <laughs> yeah, and worst part and worst part 10 of Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles. Coming soon. You said that in three December. months ago. <laughs> and I'll say it again in three more months. You sound Nintendo pushing back a release date. Oh! Definitely. Keep on pushing back the upload date. Coming soon. Wait. We have to push it back a year and a half. Keep your reserve ticket. That's why I had to do with Twilight Princess. A year and a half later, it finally came out. I had my ticket the whole time. I was like, is this ticket still valid? By that time, it was no longer EB Games, it was GameStop, so I was like, I don't think my ticket's valid anymore. Oh, man. Wait, what, so what happened then? Was, was it still valid or no? Or yes, no? it was. Oh, okay. I even okay. got a phone yeah, call, like... a voicemail saying, your game, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, will be in stores tomorrow. I'll go win. Oh, we don't have it. <laughs> what it turns the... out, they said Nintendo didn't give them enough games, and so whatever games they had, they... Sold them out, I guess, to everybody that came in with the reserve ticket first. But the next day they had it, so it was all good. Damn, so you had to wait an extra day. Yeah, then the day I got it, I was about to play it. My boss called me. Ronnie, can you come into work? Ah. No! No, I'm joking. <laughs> but I came in because it was a voicemail. I could have just ignored that, pretend like I didn't hear it. But it was a manager I liked. It was a job I liked. They needed my help. I said, you know what? When I get off work tonight, I have plenty of time all night long to play it. So it was all good. 
I thought it was going to be like one of those things like you, you keep trying to play the game, but you never get a chance to play it. All right. Didn't get the game this day. All right. Oops. Got called into work. Oops. Something else came up. Oops. Something else came up. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to play the game. Yeah. Oh. Bust right in the mouth. All right, guys, I gotta take a 10 minute intermission. Oh, wait, I'm not live. Dang it, hold on. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Uh, I finally, mean, technically, you could. Finally, the Sasha Banks key. The boss key. I remember my friend, when, when we were kids, he made a dirty joke because they said the big key. He goes, I got a big key right here. Dude. Jeez! <laughs> I go. Has it unlocked anything? Oh! You know what? I'm kind of glad YouTube wasn't around back then when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I would have had some pretty insane and not good commentaries with my friends. We would have said some stuff that probably we would regret. Yeah. Okay. I, I just heard one of the dogs back there, uh, Butch, or dang, I forgot their names. Don't worry, oh, go yeah. back to one of the Umbrella Chance Chronicle games. Chance. I keep on saying Butch and, Butch Sun and, Sun and Sundance. <laughs> what is wrong with me? What am I thinking about? <laughs> maybe Chance. that's. Maybe they're leading a double life and I don't know it. Yeah. Chance. You got no chance. Dun, 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 dun. No chance. Well, my mama <laughs> told me that my, oh. <laughs> my mama told me that my new name at night is Sundance. Yeah, Sundance. <laughs> uh, Butch, Cassidy, and Sundance. <laughs> And uh, Chance, Shadow, and Sassy, and uh, uh, Pete, Bear, and no, no, no. I remember a uh, dog said a dog named Bear sometimes. Oh, my friend, uh, I have friends of mine in my life group. They have a dog named uh, Bailey. A male dog named Bailey. I keep on thinking it was a female because I think of Bailey the wrestler. Yeah, that'd probably kill it. Be like, um, yeah, I think of Bailey, I think of that name, t I think of the wrestler, yeah. Yeah, and her, um, yeah, thinking of Bailey the wrestler. Whenever I, I see the dog, it, it took me a while to remember, no, Bailey's a boy. Bailey, the dog's a boy. Is it one of those names that are, like, boys and girl name or whatever? I think Raru? so, yeah. Yeah, Raru. <laughs> <laughs> Raru. I actually just did Raru, and then Max just perked up like. Oh, huh? uh, I was impersonating Arnold Schwarzenegger. I go, "Come on, do it! Kill me now! Come on!" And then Bailey was looking at me all funny with her ears perked. His ears perked up. Nice. Uh, ba Bailey is a beagle. Ooh. Oh wow. Whoa. Wow, that's interesting. I'm trying to picture that in my head now. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how much longer? The people actually enduring this or actually watching this this long are probably thinking that, but they can just scrub through the video, of course, see how much longer Hey, you can, you can watch the first 20 minutes and then watch the last 20 minutes. You don't have to watch the middle. Yeah, and also imagine how we feel commentating over this. I mean, one time Venom22 told me, yeah, you need to shorten your videos, you slave driving mother... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! Mother cheese? I didn't know that cheese could be mothers. <laughs> that was cheesy. I think, uh, I, long videos ain't too bad. It depends on what the LP Whoa. is. Whoa! We are live, uh, at the airport. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a truck driving off of those airplanes. So, Mexico lives near an airport. J Man lives near a train station. Victoria lives near a, an, an um, army, uh, post or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's a truck stop. Yep, just a big old truck passing by in the middle of the night, waking up everybody. No, I'm joking. They're making a a gangster movie called Boys in the Fort Hood. So oh, they're gonna say they're making a gangster movie, um, Sonic in the Hood. Sonic in the Hood. Little Red Rotting in the Hood. Ooh. Remember Little Red Hood? AVGN. Is that the angry video game nerd game yeah. that he reviewed? Little Red Hood. Jeez. I have never played that. I don't think I wanna. 
ever. I'd rather listen to Valerie snore all night than play that game. Oh! Ooh. Post somebody, a com needs some, somebody needs some aloe vera for that burn! Just post a comment. <laughs> you got anything else you want to say? I mean, Jesus that, Christ. Like that one time the last stream, <laughs> she goes, You got anything else you want to say? You go, Alright, good night, folks. That's it. <laughs> good night. <laughs> I should have put, yeah, I can run faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, fondly. Boss time. Dun, 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 dun. Hero music activated. And this is the part where everybody skipped to to watch this part. Hey guys, welcome to ST2K. This is the part or, where you guys skipped to to watch the boss fight. Yeah. This is Ron Moore along with I Forgot Who. Lady Zelda and Mexico. This is where everybody starts the video because they're like, whoa, this video is too damn long. Right. Oh, what? I'm just, I'm just that one crazy lady who just tags along and I don't know why. Oh, what is going on here? What is looking it's at Link? Jaws. It's evil it's, jelly. It's Jaws. I teleport a fart in your general direction, Amoeba. Whoa. What is that? Um, Morpha. I have no freaking clue. Gee, I wonder what his weakness is. What is that? Are you going to fight some jello? Right. Are you jelly? I'm totally jelly. What oh, shit? I wonder if this is the longest video on S2K. He's probably up there a tie with uh, the Twilight Princess Let's Play Discuss. How long was that one? About an hour and a half. Oh, holy crap. Oh, okay. I thought somebody in the comments one time, you said, you saw a comment that said, this video is long, but I like it, like or something like that. You're yeah, like, oh, is that sexual or something? Yeah, 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 she goes, this video is long. Just how I like it. I like the long <laughs> ones too because it just you know like when people no offense like when they do like the ten to twenty minute ones it's like what is the point? <laughs> yeah, well, some people I can understand people not wanting to sit there and watch a long video either, so I, I, right. I get both sides of it. And this this video is one of those videos where people might have just having the, on the backgrounds they're multitasking. Yeah, well, I mean it's YouTube. You can watch it in twenty minutes. You can. Yeah, you don't have to watch the whole video all at once. Yeah. We're not forcing you to w sit and watch the video for the whole entire d duration. Our, our yeah, own. and we do this for free. So please remember to donate to our Patreon by clicking on the link below. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Yeah. dun 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 We don't have a Patreon. I, I have a Patreon, but I don't use it. And Jeff's the only one that ever donated a dollar to me a month. Good God. Jeff is an awesome person. Yeah. When he's not sleeping. Right, yeah, when he's awake, he's gold. Come on! I'm here! Do it! Do it now! Come on! <laughs> Kill me! Kill me now! Come on! <laughs> Shut up. I'm like having trouble figuring out how the hell do you. Oh, okay, now I kind of get what he's doing. Oh, okay, so this is how you damage the boss. Yeah. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> he's having a hard time. Oh. Uh, grabbing it with the hook shot or the long shot. You gotta get him with the hook shot. What's this, NBA Jam? Hua, hua, hua. Push him down and then shoot a three pointer. You know, we should, prob we should probably get. Uh, Valerie and commentary. That'd be interesting to hear y'all two commentate. I think we just talk crap to each other the whole time. And they'd be like, Basically. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. Now, she'll get in your trouble. Like, you know those streamers that got in trouble for abusing their spouse in the live stream? She'll, oh, she'll, yeah. She'll, I have heard about this. She'll, she'll clap her hands. Let me learn, Ernest. <laughs> and then everybody's like, uh, everybody, some people call police or swat you, and you're all over YouTube. 
YouTuber Mexico was recorded abusing his girlfriend. Here, take a listen. <laughs> if he messed up. Jeez. I could see something like that happening. Uh, oh, Link's about to die. Don't you die on me. We're all gonna die. I meant now. So did I. I, we, we know it's more for Link. He keeps reading it. <laughs> I think he's trying to find out what the weakness is or something. The, the only way to beat this boss is to turn off the game. You win. It's like, ha, huh, I will not engage. Damn it, Link. Just. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Wait, ah! Was that JR? The fairy! <laughs> Here comes the fairy to help out Link! What? And he just stands up at the 9 second mark. This is a... What is it? Last man standing match. He got up at 9 seconds. 9 and a half to be exact. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we got him. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Anybody else getting dizzy? Oh, throw Ron to the spikes. Yeah, tell Ronnie to stop shaking the commentary. Uh, yeah. It's time to shake things up. Ah! <laughs> so, okay, I heard there's going to be another streaming service. It's called Shaker. So Shake you got, and bake. You got Twitch, Mixer, and Shaker. Uh... What's next after that? Maker? Or Blender? That's a good question. Yeah, Blenders, and the tagline is Blend In. No, you want to stand out, actually, to get more notice, but anyway. <laughs> Watch Ron be right. He predicts something like in the future that happens. He'll look back at this video and be like, whoa, I was right. Yeah. Hey, it could happen. Yeah. So this boss is starting to oh, piss geez. me off. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, how many more hits? Now I can't unhear that. <laughs> come on, get it. Oh, come on, boo, boo. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, he got him! He got him! What? <laughs> it's all, thank God. That's gonna make the water bill high. <laughs> can't say I expected that. Then again, I didn't know what to expect. Huh. Okay. Aw, oh, man. It's gonna cost an arm and a leg to fill up that uh, pool again. Yeah. But uh, then that would only leave me with one arm and one leg left. Haha. <laughs> right. Family matters where Carl ended up injuring his arm and his leg. He's in the cast and the crutches. And Carl goes, bottom line, Harriet, I fixed the roof. And she goes, you sure did. And all it did, and all it cost you was an arm and a leg. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Holy smokes, what is going on? Whoa. 
I mean, oh. That reminds me of, uh, that old woman reading the, the stories in Majora's Mask where you make the time fly by. And, uh, I guess her daughter comes in there and, uh, we're supposed to cook her some food. And the, the, and the woman goes, uh, they ran out of food or something. And the old woman goes, Whew. and the daughter goes, Whew. what do you mean? Whew. And she goes, Whew. would you like me to read you another story? Look at that. The the ECW medallion. Well, your powers combined, I am Captain Always. The Iron Sheik's retired. Ricky C did it. Do, 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 he did do. it. He finally did it. I'm so proud of you. I want to see a YouTube video where someone's using the the harp to play the song. Ooh. Plays music. E C dub E C dub E C dub <laughs> Lake E C W Now that is a stunning lake. <laughs> On the next Ricky Lake. No, it's Ricky C. On the next Ricky C. I Ricky I'd C what that. you did there. There he goes again, disappearing. How'd you do that? Oh, wait. There he is. You can't see me. He's like, Duh, where's he at? Duh. Whoa. Uh... All right. That is the end of part 14 of the Water Temple. So see you guys in part 15. We'll see what happens next. Thanks for watching if you endured this long. Until then... I'm Rob Moore. God bless and take care. See ya. You guys are all awesome.